Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Siege Survival Gloria Victus. We are playing with the Lost Caravan scenario, and uh, already it's proven to be just a smidge brutal, which is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we need to get ourselves some more medicine and stuff, that's fine. Go ahead and take some herbal meds, um, and get some people some water and stuff. So we're in the middle of a sandstorm right now. And we're having to explore a lot during the scorching days, which is kind of cutting down a lot on my scavenging time. I'm not going to lie, it's making things pretty darn tough. But I think we're going to end up being okay, mostly. Um, let's go ahead and try... What do we want? Let's get some water. You need a chance to eat some food and then rest, I think. Got some more dirty water, but not a lot, mind you. What do we want? Can I craft myself another bed? Because we were going to get a second one so I can continue scouting and resting during the day. That would be ideal for me. Oh, yep, yeah, we can. It would take some cloth. Yeah, I hate using up my cloth, but I think this is a worthwhile investment if we're going to have three people, so that's fine. So let's have Viator and Demetrius go ahead and rest up since they're either tired or sick. We can upgrade the storehouse to level two, which gets me to access to the sawhorse, plus the rainwater collector. All right, that's what that was. Garden plot and an armory. I haven't even found any um, scavengeable armor that I can repair yet. I know repair stations are a thing. I just haven't found it. Hmm. Okay, and with the storehouse upgraded, so a stump with a sawhorse. That's the next thing we can get. Takes up some of my wood and gets me some of those fibers. Yes. We'll go ahead and place you... Eh, let's go ahead and rotate you around. We should have actually, like, plenty of space to place everything I could want over here. So far, that does not seem to be an issue. And I am going to want to get this thing upgraded as quick as I can. The goal being, get very efficient planks. Because the only thing I've got left to do right now is repair the cog. For that, I'm going to need a lot of tar, which I can get. I found that. Uh, we need to get a little bit more cloth. I can make that with fibers. We need some iron. I do need to start crafting some iron. But I think we might be out of um, some materials. No, we actually have a little bit. Hold on. Maybe I can make myself three bars. Yeah, that's all I would technically need. I'm going to go ahead and make four, using up all my materials, banking on the fact that we can find more. The idea being, I'll bet you there's going to be a situation in the near-ish future where I'll want to repair something, and having an iron bar could be useful. So we'll give that a go. And actually, an extra iron bar is what we need to upgrade the sawhorse. All right, then. I feel somewhat vindicated. Let's go ahead and also craft up some tools. So if I can just get the iron, we can upgrade the sawmill or sawhorse before we do literally anything with it. Perfect. That's as efficient as you get, right? All right. Aisha, still wounded, by the way. Demetrius needs to rest. You need to rest, too, frankly. I would have loved to have gotten some more scouting, but we're not going to have the opportunity. I bet you we get attacked tomorrow. Not going to lie. Um, all right. Well, we have to use you um, again, because this is just the way of things. Um, we needed a shovel. Don't have one. We could go down to the village. I'll bet you there's trading opportunities here. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go back to the stone pit or to the oasis, or maybe try to find another exit. Like, we need to get everything out of the stone pit, but, like, we need to have other ways of getting back to the caravansary quickly. Because, um, we can't continue going very far out over here before we're gonna start having a lot of issues with the heat. And I haven't even finished exploring the western pass yet. There's a lot of stuff down here we haven't got either. Yeah, let's do one more pass in the stone pit and in the western pass. And let's not forget that we do need to come back up here with a shovel. We found that out in the last video. I'm getting full of stuff. Okay, leave behind the one wood for now. Take more materials. Um, yeah, another shovel is going to be necessary. We probably don't need much more than that, though, because I don't care if I open up the other shortcut. Once we clear this area out, it's done. Who cares? There's so many materials up here. Beautiful. Oh, another shovel. What do you know? And some planks. Okay. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to do much with my sawhorse, the way things are sitting right now. Um, we'll take some of this along, I guess. We do have a torch left over here. So we have a torch and a shovel in the field. Let's not forget that that exists. All right, let's go ahead and head back. Hmm. All right, and the enemy assault is approaching. I'm not surprised. Let's go ahead and get you some smelly goat's milk. Um, in fact, everyone could probably benefit from a little bit of smelly goat's milk before this stuff spoils. Ha 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 ha. What are we going to do? It's a great question. Well, first off, let's go to the Bastion, and we're pretty hungry. Right, let's go ahead and give them all of the smelly goat's milk. Let's send them a couple of meals so that they're not weak. Um, I guess we could actually send them all three of these meals. Maybe give them a little water as well. Uh, maybe not quite that much, at least a bit, though. I'm going to give them all of the rocks, and then I'm going to... I probably should give them the bricks if we can. 
Yeah, we need as much fortification as possible, actually, because they're going to be fighting me in force in just a bit. Gosh, I wish I had some dang weapons. But at least everyone's healed up. That's a good thing, right? I am going to upgrade the stump with the sawhorse. Still think that that's going to end up being worth it in the long run because we need to save as much wood as possible. And let's see, we need eight more planks. We're actually really close to being able to build this. I know where one more astrolabe part is. Where are the others? How many astrolabe parts do we need? Man, the battle's still not over. They're really going for it. All right, well, um, maybe we can craft like a bandage or something because I've been kind of annoyed with how long it's taking for us to feel better. We can make some cloth. Yeah, we can make a makeshift bandage, and that's kind of the best I can do. Aisha needs to stop being wounded, all right? If she dies or is unable to scavenge, it's going to hurt my ability to get materials, like, so much. Just not worth the risk. All right, we had an outright victory that time. Took a fair bit of wall damage, and a lot of things got broken. Right, and this is where I'm going to need the fibers and... Was it planks for axes? Not iron bars, I don't think. But we definitely need to have those repaired. So that's going to be a thing we need to do at some point pretty soon. We need some of those simple parts. Actually, that's not a problem. I can make one of those real quick. It takes up some of my fibers and planks, but it's not like I need those this exact second anyway. Um, we can also craft arrows. Wait, does the Bastion even have any bows? They have a ballista. They have crossbows. Okay, so actually arrows would help just a little bit. Good to know. All right, so let's have Demetrius scout the enemy lines. Aisha, once again, is going to have to go scavenging despite the fact that she's been not feeling good for a very long time. Um, all right, so that's good. Stone Pit still had a little bit more to go, and we could have opened up that last thing, but I'm not going to worry about it. Western Pass. I feel like we need to make a beeline for something like the Imperial Outpost and try to go through the village. You think? I think maybe. I'm going to go ahead and burn away these corpses, because I'm pretty sure these are in the way to get into the village. All right, and I see that there is plenty to do. Um, before we go very far... Do we want to go ahead and take that shovel and just go get whatever's in that cave? I think the answer is yes, before I forget. Because you all know that I'm prone to forgetting important things, and people yell at me in the comment section. Yeah, it's fine. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. All right, so we find the entrance. We're going to investigate. I'm going to clear the way with the shovel, and we find some more baskets full of stuff. Cool. Bricks, rocks, materials, wood, no astrolabe parts. Okay, that's, uh, hmm, all right. That was a waste of a perfectly good shovel. I mean, I'm happy to have the lumber and stuff. I am, I really am, but, hmm, I was hoping for more. I actually don't think, once again, that we have time to go to places like the village. It's already getting hot. This mechanic is so unforgiving, seriously. Um, it feels like it's really hard to accomplish a dang thing. If we don't spend the entire day making a beeline for some sort of an inactive passage... How, how, how do we do this? Seriously. All right. So at the very least, we're going to be able to bring back a decent amount of materials and some wood, which I can then craft up into a lot of useful things. So great. Um, where is... There's my pile. Let's grab that real quick. All right. What do we want? Bricks, rocks, planks, lumber, herbs, and I guess more materials is not a bad plan. Sandstorm is finally over. Good Lord. All right, that, that, that did admittedly take a long, long, long time. Uh, let's get ourselves some more water and stuff. We need to get people hydrated and stuff. We could drink some of the goat's milk, which is probably not a bad plan. Uh, you get some water and stuff. You need to rest. You're finally not wounded anymore. Well, that's good at least. All right, huzzah. And what event do we have at the Bastion? It looks like Alexios visits once again. The Midlanders bite hard, and the Sandstorm doesn't make the Defender's job any easier. We need a way to escape. There are two routes. Straight up north, across the Deep Sea, or to the east along the shores. Okay? The northern route is short enough to not require a lot of supplies. Oh, I'll bet you that once we actually get the boat repaired, we need to get a bunch of meals. Maybe. But the waters of the Lordly Bay are deadly, and you'll need a proper tool, the Astrolabium. Sure. However, we could take the eastern route. It's easier... But, equally dangerous, it leads along one of the newest provinces of the Empire, and its natives don't welcome us with open hearts. We'll either need weapons or an astrolabe. Gotcha. I want the astrolabe, but we'll see what ends up happening. Oh, we have to make a decision now? Let's go for the astrolabe. I hope this is not a mistake. I already know where one more piece is. I don't know how many pieces there are, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go. 
Now, we did want this repair workshop. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and try crafting. Well, we could actually upgrade the workshop if I wanted to. Hold on. Is that worth doing? Um, sure. You know, we've got a really good crafter. Let's let's try crafting some of that and upgrade the dang workbench and then make another part so we can make a repair bench so I can repair more stuff. It makes sense. Time remaining to the Great Standstorm, one week. What? I've got a lot less time to work. Well, that's just, that's just swell. That's peachy keen. Thank you. Oh, yay, yay. One week? That's not a lot of time to explore. The good news is we're really efficient at making planks now. So that's going to be huge for when we need to get this dang thing repaired. Honestly, I just need some tar and the astrolabe. If we can explore quickly enough, like, dude, we might be able to make it within a week. Maybe. Let's go ahead and send the weapons and armor and stuff back to the Bastion, plus some more fortifications and a little bit of food and stuff. Next battle in two days. Okay. Um, I should be able to make some arrows and stuff in time for that, so that'll give us a slight edge. I really think that this is going to come down to how efficiently can we explore in this game. Maybe I should have gone down the crafting route. Maybe we would have been fine. Well, this time, aside from getting the Astrolabe and the Western Pass, I think I am going to make a beeline toward the Imperial Outpost. Which should be safe, right? There's no Midlanders. Well, maybe there are Midlanders down there. Wait, where are the enemy guards anyway? I mean, really, though. Like, where, where have they been this whole time? Because so far, we haven't seen a single enemy in this entire area. Whatever. Let's go ahead and collect all of these goods. There's some parts, iron bar, blah, blah, blah. We get all of that. And now my only priority is to make a beeline toward the exits. Something new. I need some sort of a new exit. If we can unlock that, I'll open up so much more space. Wait, did I just see somebody? I did. Okay, so there are enemies around. Um, in the Oasis. I'm not too interested in the Oasis right now. I guess if we killed a bunch to get, like, their axes, that would be one way to do really well. When we eventually have to worry about, um, retaliating against the enemy. That looks to me like we need a shovel to get in there. Hold on. All right. Um, okay, so I don't think we can get to this exit. What about if we just give me a little bit more vision? That looks like an inactive passage that maybe we can get to around the frontier pass. So I need to find a way to get around over here. Okay, an enemy thinks he spotted me. I'm gonna go ahead and just run around him this way. Okay, there's a lot of enemies by the Oasis. I shouldn't have been surprised. Hold on, we need to go slow here. No, no, don't detect me, don't detect me. Gosh dang it, I need to find a way around this and fast. We are gonna get into the heat pretty quick. Uh, oh shoot, I don't know if we can do this. I really don't know if we can do this. This is gonna be a problem. Just a straight line, make a straight line. Please tell me we don't need like a key or anything weird like that to get to this exit. Um, I'm really, really hoping. Oh, so close, so close. We're not even gonna have a lot of time to scavenge at this point. It's starting to get hot and yeah, okay, I see a spot there. So let's see if we can just unlock this immediately. That's a way around all the enemies. Uh, a shortcut has been found. Okay, thank God. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, we found another way to get around. That is huge. We just saved ourselves a lot of effort. The problem is the Oasis is crawling with enemies. So what the heck am I gonna do about all them? Oh, look, a shovel that I could use to unlock the other place. Well, that would have been nice a lot sooner, but okay. Um, we don't have any more time, so let's go ahead and beeline. And we've got one Astrolabe part, only one. It's not much. Um, out of curiosity, let's take a look at the map. There's another interactable right down there, and one up over here, at least. So one of these is probably an astrolabe part, maybe this one down here. What is this thing right here? I'll bet you that's the astrolabe right there. <gasps> okay, so we have to upgrade this workshop. Got it. Well, I've got some parts, I've got some planks, I've got some bricks. So let's do that, and I'll bet you it's gonna tell me exactly what I need to repair that astrolabe. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm curious. Three pieces, plus we need some parts and we need some iron bars. Okay, well, that answers that question at least. Aisha is still sick, no longer slightly sick, by the way. Really needs an opportunity to simply sleep. Um, we could have Demetrius go and do the scavenging instead. Uh, I hate to do that, but if, uh, mm. If she gets sick enough, we're gonna have a problem. I can lose one carrying capacity for now, just to try and prevent this from getting a lot worse. I already see somebody patrolling up over here. So that's gonna become a problem, because I know that they're around. I'm not surprised. It seems like getting this far down in the uh, map is just crawling with enemies. 
Um, we're not good at combat. Let's remember that. This character in particular sucks at it. We find a bunch of dead soldiers and a rift in the rock. We can use a shovel. Perfect. All right. And something grabs the tools and pulls it out of your hand. Ah! Run, scream your instincts. But where? The stranger comes closer, pointing his weapon and observing you with deadly caution. Oh, he's a nomad of the Wagedi tribe, one of many roaming these lands for years. He's slim and tough despite his young age. Besides the blade, he handles a rope. So it was him that saw you inside. Let's try to calm him down. Um, he doesn't stop. You try to calm him down, and that intrigues him. Saying, Marion, he asks. Yes, let me join you and fight those devils from the north. How about you join the Bastion? Because I don't think I need your help, but I could really use some protection. So go do that. Seems like a tough man. I like this. Excellent. Thank you, Zahir. That's not an astrolobe, but I'll still take this. It's good. Oh, and he also gave me my shovel back. Hey, even better. Well, I'll tell you what, since we still have a shovel, let's try making a beeline to the other exit. Actually, there's another thing up here. There's an event. Yeah, but I want the other exit. Uh, I do. Um, oh, crap. I'm going to have to risk getting sick. Please don't get sick. Please don't get sick. Please don't get... Hey. So far, at least, we don't seem to have gotten sick. What do you know? I want to get to this. I know we need another shovel later to get to this event, and maybe that is the astrolabe. But this is now so far away, and we're so committed that I can't afford to grab this and then make it back to the exit, I don't think. And besides, we have a we have an upgraded workshop. We can craft ourselves another one of those shovels if we need to. That's not a big deal. Actually, wait. This is the event. Did we not need... Oh, my God. All right, so this shortcut was completely fine to begin with. Well, tell you what, we've still got a shovel. Let's go ahead and open this area up because it looks like there's a lot of awesome piles right here. Just ready for the plundering, and I like that idea. So we'll take along the materials. I'll take the rotten food, some fibers. Let's see behind some materials, actually, and let's take some fuel instead. I think this is going to be fine. I don't know why we've got so much fertilizer on this map, because I really don't feel like we need it. I mean, who's going to farm anything? We can't afford to use the water for that. That's ridiculous. And here cometh the uh, enemy assault. Well, it's a good thing we sent a very fresh warrior, right? All right, let's, um, let's plan this out carefully. What are we going to do? Well, first off, let's send some meals and some water and some arrows up to the, uh, oh, wow. These guys are in trouble. Um, right. They may not survive the next week. We can at least get this all up there and just see if that helps. Uh, you need something to drink, and then you also need something to drink. Yeah, we need a lot of water. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be a problem. And we're under attack. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, need to get you properly fed, give you something to eat and something to drink. Good enough. Why don't you go back and sleep? All right, so let's keep an eye on this. Um, I mean, having some arrows is going to help, but we don't need more fortifications. I haven't found more weapons unless we want to go kill some warriors. So there's really nothing I could do to make these guys any stronger than we have so far. It, it, it either is good enough or it's not. And that's that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles. Looks like some rocks are going to fall really close by. We should be protected right where I am right now, though. Oh, gosh. Dang it. They're sending... Okay. Right. They're they're throwing dead animals at us. Um, they're going to poison us if we don't get some torches and deal with this. I have a torch, fortunately. Only one. Hopefully they don't throw more dead cows at me. I wish this could be worth some meat or something. That'd be nice. No? Okay. So 35 versus 39. I wouldn't be surprised if we take a wounding in this. Um, yeah, probably. 26 to 31. Please tell me they're stopping. Okay, they did stop. Um, their numbers are still high. Yeah, as long as our people are still alive, though, we might be able to recover from this. But we really don't have a lot of time. We have got to escape. Which makes sense, right? I, they're, they're setting the game up in such a way that you can't just sit here and keep winning. Eventually, you got to freaking run. Oh, gosh, two of our people died. Uh, yep, that right there, that's a problem. So yeah, a bunch of people wounded. We have got to get some bandages. That's the next priority. Great. I have no herbs. Dang it, I can't do anything. Ah! This is a problem, this is a problem. Unless we can upgrade this. Oh, but it would take all my cloth. It's not worth it. Oh no. Oh no, this is, a, this is really bad. Okay, um, day comes again. Uh, we have sick people, right? Uh-huh, um... Well, this ain't gonna be good. Really need a lot more medicine. Need to find some more herbs. Okay. Um, you need to scout the enemy lines so we can find out what's coming. Where can we go? Well, <clears throat> there is supposedly things like medicine and stuff over here. Um, we had a shovel. We can use that. Go to the Imperial Outpost and see what else is over here. I know there was someone who was able to scavenge. 
So if I can just find the astrolabe part, it's either in the oasis or it's right here. It might even be in the Imperial Outpost. It would just make sense. Or it's in the Wageti Village and we need to do some trading. One of those could be true. Yeah, we need, to, we, need to, we need to find the Astrolabe and get out, ideally, before the next attack, because I'm not sure we can survive the next one. I'm really not. Okay, there's someone patrolling, but it looks like we're going to be able to avoid that just barely in time. So let's get up over here and scavenge this out of the way. There's a lot of stuff on this hill fort. Good to know. Please don't hear me. I'm not in the mood. All right, so we broke through that. Let's find out what's over here. Uh, okay, there's movement inside. There's a person. It's a Sangmarian soldier. He doesn't notice my presence at first. Okay, he was captured by the Midlanders, along with his friend Ignatius. Um, all right. They want to find the Oasis, and they wouldn't mind killing the prisoners with cold blood in order to find it. Got it. Did your best to stop them. Okay. So we're getting some cool story here. We probably are not going to keep him. Uh, I'm going to send him to the join the Bastion, because we need all the fightings we can get in the Bastion garrison. Once again, no astrolabe. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you that we have got to trade or something. I'll bet you that's what we have to do. Oh, we found some damaged armor and a bandage. A real bandage. Ooh, 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 okay. Drop behind the bricks. Don't need those. Um, take that. Leave the torch. Take the armor for now. Okay, that's good at least. So we can find some good stuff. I need to find more herbs, though. A lot more would be nice. And a broken axe, too. What do you know? All right. Well, it's it's probably a little bit late to worry about that, really. But, I mean, every advantage helps right now because we're... <laughs> we're going to be in for a really rough fight next time around. Really rough fight. All right. We can't let this character keep getting sick. So this is going to have to be good enough. All right. So let's leave behind a bunch of this stuff until we can figure out what we're doing. So we're taking the herbs for sure. I'll take the armor. I'll take some materials. I'll take some... Bandages, probably. Um, leave the torch. Take this. Take the tools, maybe. Leave the treasure. And actually, you know what? Trade these out for a stack of planks. There's a lot more here, though. This is good. All right. Um, good enough. Let, let's get out of here. And I've really got to give her my medicine because she just is still very badly sick, and that just ain't changing anytime soon. So let's go ahead and put her to bed. Actually, um, can we get you something to eat or drink real quick? That would help. Actually, maybe we should consider just ending this video here. Um, I'm not too sure how long it's going to be. Uh, maybe it's a little bit on the shorter end, but I got, I've got a feeling that considering how close we're getting to the end of repairing the ship and maybe finding one last astrolabe part, we might be actually pretty close to the end of the series. This might be a really short scenario. I'm not sure. So I think we're going to go ahead and end things here. It's a good breaking point, so we'll just restart the day when I resume. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.